In this video, we will physically position the Z probe, the proximity sensor, within its sensing distance from our built plate. You're going to need two and a half millimeter M3 hex key, a miniature zip tie, or a leftover from a miniature zip tie, SD card with some G code on it, and things that you normally need for printing blue tape snips, something to peel the prints off with, and your tweezers. And a piece of paper. Very important. And that's it. Step one, put some blue tape on the bed. Always make sure that the blue tape never overlaps. It's better to have a small gap than to have an overlap. And put the bed into the printer. Position both the proximity sensor and the nozzle fan high so that they are definitely above the nozzle. Okay. We need the gap between the tip of the nozzle and the bottom of our proximity sensor to be about one millimeter, which is about the thickness of the miniature zip tie. So here's what we're gonna do. Grab a piece of paper and slide it underneath the nozzle. Next, rotate the Z lead screw with your hand to drive the nozzle down. By moving the paper back and forth, you'll be able to feel when the nozzle is lightly touching the plate. Now we're gonna take our miniature zip tie, rest the Z probe on the zip tie, and tighten it in place. And now we have about one millimeter gap. That's really all there is to it. While we are doing that, let's also adjust the nozzle fan. We want the nozzle fan to be as slow as possible, but to still have some clearance. So I like to use the same method. I put a small zip tie underneath the nozzle fan, loosen it up, rest it on the zip tie, and tighten it in place. All set. The next step is gonna be to tweak the first layer height in software. A link to that video is below.